our Messages from God series. So far we've learned that God wants to speak to us and speaks to us in all kinds of different ways. Last week we learned that one of the main ways that God speaks to us is through the Bible. That's why it's called God's Word. When we read the Bible, it's like reading a love letter from God. It teaches us who He is, who we are, and how He wants us to live. Today, we're going to learn about how God sometimes speaks in a quiet whisper in our hearts. Let's listen to a story about the prophet Elijah, to whom God spoke in a whisper. One day, there was a man named Elijah. He was a prophet, which means that God spoke to him and gave him messages for his people. The king, Ahab, did not like Elijah because Ahab didn't want to listen to God and do what he said. After God had done an amazing miracle through Elijah and proved that he was real, Ahab and his wife Jezebel got really angry. They sent a message to Elijah saying that they were going to kill him. Elijah didn't know what to do, so he ran away. He wandered out into the wilderness, not sure where to go. There he lay down under a tree and said to God, It is all too much for me, Lord. I just want to die. Then he fell asleep. Suddenly, an angel touched Elijah and said, Wake up and eat. Elijah looked around and there was a loaf of bread and a jar of water. He ate and drank and then he fell asleep again. After a while, the angel woke him up again and told him to go to Mount Sinai, where God would speak to him. After 40 days of traveling, Elijah got to Mount Sinai and slept in a cave there. Suddenly, God spoke to him and said, Elijah, what are you doing here? He said, Lord, I have always served you, but the people of Israel don't listen to you anymore. I am the only prophet left. They have killed all the others, and now they're trying to kill me. God said, go out and stand before me on the top of the mountain. Elijah went out and stood on the top of the mountain. Suddenly, there was a gale of wind that blew past him. It was so strong, it split and shattered the rocks. But God was not in the wind. Then, there was an earthquake that made the ground shudder and quake. But God was not in the earthquake. Then, there was a fire that came by. But God was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a still, small voice. And God spoke to Elijah and told him what to do. When Elijah saw the wind, the fire and the earthquake, he probably thought that God was going to speak to him through one of those things. But God wasn't in the big, obvious, loud things. He spoke to Elijah in a quiet whisper. God wanted Elijah to listen to him and to really focus on him. God speaks to us in a still small voice too. Sometimes people can hear God speaking to them audibly, in other words, with a voice you can actually hear with your ears. But most of the time, God speaks in a whisper in our hearts. The Holy Spirit lives inside of anyone who believes in God, and so He speaks by His Holy Spirit to our hearts. For example, if you know that you did something wrong, have you ever felt that little whisper in your heart saying, "Mm, I was wrong, maybe you feel guilty about it, maybe you feel like you should say you're sorry or own up to what you did. That's the Holy Spirit speaking to you. The word blast can help us remember how we can hear God speaking to us in his still, small voice. God didn't speak to Elijah in the blast of wind, but the letters of the word can help us remember what we can do to hear him speak to us. B stands for Bible. Read and memorize the Bible. The Bible is God's word and he can speak to us through it. When we read it, his spirit can remind us of what we have read as we go through our lives. L stands for listen. If we want to hear God speak to us, we must listen carefully for his voice. When we pray, we must not do all the talking, but also take some time to listen to what God might want to say to us. We need to be open to hearing from God. A stands for ask. We can ask God to speak to us and to help us listen to him. When we are making a decision, we can also ask God to guide us and tell us what to do. Then we should wait and listen for his answer. S 
stands for silence. In order to hear God's still small voice, we need to become quiet and wait on him. It's important that we take some time out to just talk to God and hear from him. We won't hear him if we don't quieten our hearts and listen out for him. And lastly, T stands for time. We need to spend time with God. As we get to know him better and spend time with him, we will learn to hear his voice. Just like you get to know what your friends' voices sound like when you spend lots of time with them. When we spend time with God, we get to know his voice and then we can hear it more clearly as we go through our days. Today's memory verse comes from Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 1 and it says, Hear the word which the Lord speaks to you. This verse reminds us that we need to make sure we're listening for the still small whispers of God. He wants to speak to us, but we need to make sure we're listening. Can you say the verse with me again? Hear the word which the Lord speaks to you. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 1.